Hey, welcome back guys. So, so far, so good. Now, there's one issue that I want to take care of before we continue. So, and that's the uh, checking to see if a user is actually logged in. Okay, so uh, right now we don't have an index page. So if I go to my folder, the timeline.php, let me rename that to index.php. So that's the home page of our website for now right and then if i go to i get the profile.php so if you let me log in first so let me use one account to log in say one two three four five six seven eight as the password and log in all right so i've logged in there very nice now if i go to my uh, profile.php if you look at the top here we have this entire section that checks if the user is logged in okay this is all well and good however the problem is we have to do this in every single page so the disadvantage of copying and we can simply copy this data and paste in every other page so for example here the index.php i want to be able to check if the user is logged in if not i redirect them to the login page so to do that i'll have to copy this code onto there as well now this is fine the only problem is if I find out later on that I need to change something here, it means everywhere I had copied it, I'll need to go back and change. Now that's not very efficient, especially if you're running a very big website. So it would be better to make your code in such a way that you change in one place and it changes everything. So here we just need one line to check if the user is logged in and that's it. So if we look closely here, the class that we are using to check if we are logged in is called the login class. So let's simply cut this information and paste it in the login class itself. So I'm going to copy all the way from here where it says check if user is logged in up to the last header location, uh, this redirect up to the end here. I'm going to copy all these things here and I'm actually going to cut these things. So cut so that we remain with posting stats here okay so now i'm going to the login.php now this is a class in the classes folder login.php that's the one i'm editing right now so in here we have two functions we have this is the login class we have evaluate and we already have one that says check login so we might as well simply utilize this function right here so let me go down here after return false and paste the data that I had cut from the other side. And then I'm going to select it again and tab it in so that we can uh, see properly, like so. Now, I won't be needing the session data from here. Like I said, it's not good to use global variables inside classes. So I'm going to simply cut this entire section here because I don't need it and paste it here where I might need it in the profile.php page put a semicolon this is only temporarily uh, data so I'm going to comment it out like that All right so now that I've removed this we are supplied an ID at the top of the function so we're going to utilize this ID instead so we're going to check if the ID is numeric so I'll paste that there so if is numeric now, we don't want to run any of this if the data is not numeric. So let me move this to the very top. Tab and move this back just to be neat. And then I'm going to tab everything inside like so. Okay, so let's see what else we're going to change. So if everything is good, if it's numeric, good. If not, uh, we're going to have to redirect to the login page which is good and then when we come in here we are saying select user id from uh, we are selecting from the user to check if the user exists opening up the database so this is all good now if everything is good uh, i'm sorry if, if if everything is false instead of returning false we just have to redirect the user so to do that I'm going to copy this redirect part right here. Okay. 
and come up here where it says return false and instead put the else statement redirect so return false is useless and then if everything is true we're supposed to go and check this check if user is logged in so id we don't need to define it anymore since it comes in from the function so delete that now instead of using another uh, class in here to read the actual data since we are already reading from the user's table we might as well instead of just getting the user id which we were getting here let's get the entire row so we're going to put the star to re represent all columns so select all columns okay so we don't need this anymore this part anymore because this very login class is the same class we are editing so we don't need to uh to call it to create it in here and also we don't need to call this function anymore since this is the very function that we are editing so we are already inside the function so let me delete that as well and then we don't need to check if result since we're already checking here if the result is correct so let me see result and then there's the else statement for that that result so i need to delete that as well and delete the if result as well now retrieve user user data we don't need to do that anymore since we're already retrieving the entire row so that goes as well get data goes as well and if users data let me just cut this very variable because i'll need it so everything here literally disappears so in here instead of returning a true let's return the data the user data now we haven't created this variable we haven't defined what it is but we know the results are in result so what i'm going to do is say uh, user data is equal to the result now the reason i'm assigning it here because i know the result is an array of rows so i just want the very first row so i'll do that okay so that's about it so let me recap what we've done here so we are given an id that we check to make sure it's numeric if it's not we redirect the user to the login page and then we read from the users table using the database class if the result is good we return the the entire row if the result is not we redirect to the login page so this has been simplified quite a bit so now if i go back here since we know the id itself is coming from the session we have to pass it in here so here all we have to do is call in this class login so we're going to say login is equal to new capital login like that we are creating the class and then we're going to say login now the function that we've created is check login right there so let me paste it there check login and then the id we are getting is from here all right and i can delete that now so the advantage of this is now that this is all we need now to check if a page uh, in a page the user is logged in or not okay so let's test that and see if it actually works so we need to have the login class we need to have the database connect class and then we need to have this statement in order to be able to redirect a non-logged in user so let me go back here and see if it actually works so let me log out and then come back and let me try to go to the profile.php and you see it's redirecting me which means it works and then let me go back and log in wrong password one two three four five six seven eight all right so here we go so now we got a couple of errors here saying unidentified variable user data because it's required the user data is required to display user data here so now if you remember in the login uh, function here we are returning the user data so let me copy that and then the only problem is we are not capturing it here 
so all i need to do is say user data is equal to and which means we've captured it so if this user data this will never come back empty because if it did the user would have been redirected by then so for as long as we've bypassed this stage it means user data has got some information there so let's try and refresh this again and everything is good so now that we've created a timeline index page as the timeline page so let's try and redirect to that one and see what happens so in this case i'm going to drag index.php into the here and then i'm simply going to add some php tags like that and then i'll go to profile.php and copy this entire section here now we don't need these two but i'm simply copying everything for easy copying so we need session start because we are using session okay that's why we need it and then we need the connect to the database we need the login because we're using it here we don't need this one and the post but since timeline also uh, enables us to post data we might just leave this we may need it in future so i'll leave those two but this will redirect us if we are not logged in so let's test that theory now we need a way to be able to go to the timeline page so here is the link this is supposed to be a link so let's create that as a link in profile.php so i'll go to profile.php search control f search for timeline which is right here in the html so let me add a uh, a link using the a tag okay so opening a tag closing a tag and then in the href here i'm going to specify uh, index dot php okay so if i refresh the page now you see this one is bluer so i'm going to click on it and it will take me to the timeline page so to confirm that the timeline page will redirect me if i'm not logged in i will just copy the link there and then since we don't have a log logout button here i'll have to go back that side we'll fix that in the next video and we'll hit logout and then let me try and go to the timeline page right now and you see it keeps redirecting me until i log in and once i log in i'm good to go and i can go to the timeline page as well so in the next video uh we're going to create a universal header right here and then we'll go straight into seeing how we can upload the profile image and cover image